the belted sow here that is uh, offered as lot three uh, in this particular sale is 145-8. And uh, this is no doubt one of my favorite sows in the sale. And, uh, you know, the crew around here knows what kind of sows I like. And the kind of sows that I like is very indicative of the ones that have stood the test of time and, and the ones that continually pay the bills around here. And, um, you know, my tendency usually lies in the ones that are more immature, uh, the ones that have a great look the ones that are balanced, uh, the ones that are comfortable, and the ones that uh, really are, are no holes, fault free, that can withstand uh, the extreme bores in our business. And, uh, you know, sometimes those are too safe and sometimes those are too conservative, but most of the time, generally speaking, uh, they do their part. And uh, this is one of those kind of sows that, you know, within this offering, she's probably not gonna look as stout. Uh, she won't look uh, certainly as, as bold or massive, uh, you know, as extreme as some of them, uh, but this one fundamentally is the kind that uh, that I that I want to represent uh, females. You know, from our firm and uh, 145-8's done a great job. Uh, she's been very prolific in the crate. Uh, she does a good job not only doing uh, you know raising pigs, but raising sellable pigs, and uh, which is something I think often gets lost in the shuffle. She's sired by Leo. Uh, Leo was a boar that we used for a season. He came from Leo Canales there in South Texas. Uh, Leo's mother uh, was a female that came from here. She was a secret weapon that would have been a sister to Gangster's mother. Uh, Leo was sired by the king on the top side. And then the mother of this one is uh, is a kingpin dirty. Uh, that she's actually a 279. She would have sold in the built the brand sale this past summer and uh, 279.7 uh, would be the mother of this one. Her sister is the mother of another side that we'll get to here later in the offering. Um, but again, she's a Leo Kingpin, uh, you know, surely to goodness, um, listeners to this right now understand the value of Kingpin uh, on the bottom side of a pedigree. And, uh, you know, I think that's still as prevalent as it's ever been uh, in our business. Uh, this one's bred a driving force. Uh, driving force is the Hilti Boar there at Premium Blend. Uh, she's due the 11th of November, uh, you know, in conversations with, with a few folks that have used driving force, uh, they were very bullish on him. And uh, that's a board that we really tied into in the early going here of this crop. In fact, we just weaned some pigs there on Friday uh, this past week that were out of driving force. Uh, and so we've got several litters now in the nursery and I'm excited. Uh, you know, I feel really good about this mating. I do think this is a complimentary mating. This is the right kind of sow for that, that particular boar. And, uh, you know, as we go through here, these, I think far too often folks believe that, you know, breads are, are just breads and they're just selling uh, to make way for something else. And, um, you know, I feel really good about our track record of selling females that have got value, uh, that are bred to, uh, to generate value in the, in the litter that they're carrying. And I think this is a great example of that. So um, I certainly want to emphasize the kingpin influence here. I want to emphasize that this one's uh, in particular is my kind. Uh, she's bred a driving force. Again, this is lot three, 145 8. She's a Leo Kingpin Dirty, bred a driving force, and due the 11th of November.